Okay, so I built the <clears throat> the uh, Madoka Stingray. Um, directions were a little a little tough at times. The car was in red with black seats, so I went ahead and switch that out and put some gray accents in there um, there's a trunk with the battery box the rechargeable battery box the thing about it is it looks really 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 nice I had to use different tires the tires I have were too big even though they look dope, but anyway, um, but you can kind of tell by the way it looks, it looks to be the shit, you know, it's pretty dope, but <clears throat> had a little bit of problems with it, uh, first, uh, he said it was a full independent suspension and the way that see if you could see it from here kind of but not really if we look down past these wires and this link right here you have the springs which play off each other kind of like in the, the one of the off-roaders the 3081 or whatever extreme off-roader not the big one but the black with the red stripe or whatever um I don't know if it's just the wheels but I put some even smaller wheels on it that weren't that much smaller and you really don't get too much play at all and these are dependent because this one is sprung off of the other one kind of <clears throat> the other thing is he has used a uh, system where he put the white clutch gears in here and it was supposedly for smoother acceleration and deceleration but basically all it did for me was whenever I went to turn and this is when the body was not even on it and it was just a chassis when I went to turn it uh, would lock up and the steering would, would hold it so it would just slip and not go anywhere it didn't have more of a realistic acceleration but other than that yeah but the back back has a little bit better I mean the suspension system that he put on it was you know pretty ingenious the way he put that on there I'll give you a look at it um, it's got a, uh, a ball joint back there for like kind of like a live axle but in, independently sprung um, it was definitely a cool technique I rather enjoyed it I'm going to put this tire back on. Um, I didn't put the, the running boards on here or any of the other features because, I mean, the car was starting to get really, really heavy. I don't have a scale, so I don't know how heavy it is, but um, let's see, it's on right now. The light feature was kind of cool. But I mean, you really got to push it down in order for the headlights to come up and turn on. I mean, other than that, if you want to turn them off, then come down here and they switch off right there. But if you go too far, then they switch back on because it's on the switch. So you have to kind of like level it out. This bumper here. 
consistently comes off. Um, and basically, I got some dust from riding this thing outside. But the steering is okay. I mean, it works pretty good. It's, pretty, it's really fast. Um, your speed is pretty good, but then once again, due to the weight, it uh, kind of slows it down. Yesterday when I had just mostly the chassis in the back end, this thing was flying like nobody's business, but... Um, yeah, once again, overall, aesthetically pleasing. It's fun to look at. But as far as play experience, I'd give it about a maybe a six. Uh, your infrared sensor back here gets kind of hidden even if I had put the the top part on I can't see as to where it wouldn't be even more difficult if you're coming from from this way and you know you're trying to control it I mean it still works it's just a matter of like how far away and like I said I left the the t-top off but so if you want to give it a go, I definitely would check out his webpage and his building instructions. It took me about maybe 11 hours constantly building. And it'd probably be better as an LDD file. But other than that... I don't know. It looks nice. I'm sure the chicks would dig it. But this is my, once again, all black version of the Madoka Stingray remote control. Um, so build it for yourself if you'd like and see how it works for you.